So the CDC just extended the airline mask mandate by another 15 days. It was set to end and now they're saying it's not going to end. It's going to go on even longer. It should, it should have never been started and it should have ended before. And this is just more uh, authoritarian overreach. So the thing with a lot of candidates, they talk about a lot of things that aren't really related to the job. And that's to pull on the emotional, uh, you know, driven response of voters. So they talk about their kids and their family and their, you, you know, military service or their business acumen or whatever. What it really comes down to in a job, particularly like the kind that I'm running for, which is federal office, it's about the votes. It's about the votes. In the United States Senate, it's about what you actually do in the job and what you actually vote. A lot of uh, candidates and, and especially elected officials are afraid to say how they're going to vote. And uh, even the ones in office, they don't want to have their votes recorded. So they'll do everything they can to avoid it. But in times like this, it's important to actually talk about what you would actually do. It's one thing to say, I'm going to fight this. But it's another thing entirely to say, well, how? So to be very, very specific and very clear, if I were elected to the United States Senate, I will do everything in my power to defund the CDC, strip them of their power, and make sure that this never happens again. And when I say everything in my power, I mean it. One of the first things I would do when I arrived in Washington, D.C. is talk to lawyers, talk to other senators, people like Rand Paul, people who share my values, and I, and I would ask them, and say, what is the thing that I can do the most, the most to cause this to be reversed? Is it a 60 hour filibuster? Is it uh, different procedural things? Is it calling people in for hearings? I don't care. I don't care what it takes and I don't care about uh, upsetting the apple cart or upsetting even people in my own party. This has to stop. We have to stop it. We have to take our country back. It's the only way forward. Otherwise we're going to end up like China. And that is not acceptable in America. We've got to stop the CDC and stop this tyranny across the board.